Well, on past form, most of us uh, won't bother to vote in the elections to the European Parliament, and it is anyway important to recall that most of the politicians in the Parliament, the overwhelming majority, aren't British, and nor are they overwhelmingly any other nationality. They're chosen by the many millions of voters of the EU in 28 countries. One of them is the Slovenian philosopher Slavoj Žižek. Um, will you vote? No. Why not? Uh, because I'm very pro-European, but yeah. I'm very critical of what uh, Brussels today, Brussels bu uh, bureaucracy stands for. I think that the lesson to the politicians should be uh, as large as we can imagine boycott of votes, not to abolish Europe, but to awaken it in a way. What's gone wrong? Ah, what's going wrong? I'll answer you with a question. Freudian question, was will das Weib? What does the woman want? Okay, nobody knows that, but today the question is, what does Europe want? I claim that it's obvious that at least three Europes are fighting. On the one hand, is the predominant, what Brussels today stands for, Europe. It's just an efficient technocratic idea, like we, we are entering the multicentric world, so we have to be well organized to compete with other power centers and so on. I think that will not work. It's not good enough. Then we have what we saw at the beginning of this, uh, 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 of our program tonight, that is to say this, let's call it populist anti-immigrant reaction. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, first, let's not underestimate them. They really do formulate some authentic anxiety fears of the people. But I think the tragedy is that they are just channeling in this direction fears which are not really generated by the poor Romanians or whoever. I mean, yes, ordinary working class people live in anxiety, but it's more about where global capitalism is moving. Healthcare no longer functioning, whatever you want, and so on and so on. The problem is the logic of global capitalism, which, as we all know, is moving in a certain direction, outsourcing uh, and so on. I think that that in other words, in this sense, I'm still a leftist. I think that the, the votes for these nationalist anti-immigrant parties are the votes which should have been leftist votes. Only a more radical new left can save Europe, I think. Because I think, and as a some kind of radical leftist. I'm totally pro-European. I think Europe has produced something which is incredibly important for the entire humanity. Greek democracy, Christianity, European modernity. In all this, we have an idea of a community of equal people living in freedom, in solidarity. Okay, I will not go in this poetry, but I'm saying that this basic European legacy, I see it today threatened by latest tendencies in global capitalism. Take China, take Singapore. Till now, we could have said, that capitalism and democracy go together. Mm -hmm. In the sense that even if we have 20 years of dictatorship, Chile, South Korea, when things start to function, you have a demand for democracy. I doubt if this is still the case. The most... Uh, well, you're talking about China now, aren't you? China, Singapore, South Korea. It, it, there is a new capitalism emerging, yeah. and I don't think we can dismiss let's it go as back an to, Let's phenomenon. go back to Europe for a yeah. moment or two. Um, is there any way that you can imagine of forging some sort of European identity so that these questions of migrants and animosity between nations no longer exist? I mean, we're talking something that's incredibly long term here, aren't we? Not, not, not yeah, but no, no, it's not as, so easy. I will tell you why. Because, listen, let's be serious. The problems let's. we are facing today, not only we in Europe, are global problems. Yeah. Ecology. Yeah. This uh, ecology, who will regulate uh, uh, biogenetics, who will regulate the, uh, the, the flow of financial capital, intellectual property. All Global capitalism today is calling for some kind of global regulation. And this is maybe worldwide our biggest challenge. And I think 
the European way to do it, while keeping European legacy alive of equality, mm -hmm. all that stuff that we usually uh, design, uh, designate as uh, welfare state, uh, if it will not be done in a European way, it will be done in a much nastier way through some kind of universalized, what we call Asian values, uh, capitalism, and so on. This is, I think, a serious threat, even if we still have democracies. Isn't it that they are becoming more and more okay. insubstantial? Slavoj Žižek, thank you. Thank you. Uh, well,